Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we made this elongated train. Previously, this was actually only a triple loco system. But I've been playing offline, just passing through the years and making sure that we do not end up bankrupt. And adding a few wagons here and there, adding a few locos here and there, and we now have this uh, quite long train. Which is, I think, more or less pretty optimized in our current uh, supply chain. We do have a warning there. Because the dairy farm <laughs> stopped producing. There's just no way to transport all that milk in time. But maybe there is. Anyway, um, but that will get fixed in a while. That's like been a cycle for the last few months. And if you look, I think I played a total of around two years in the background. So you can see the past two years we have been earning finally. Uh, we lost a million here in 1855, but that's because I bought a local extending that train. So I had to take another 1 million loan. And then I paid off like half of it. And uh, now we've been earning for the past two years. And I think hopefully the trend should continue with this year. Now in this episode though, I wanted to start a new line. I did see an opportunity over on this side of the planet. It's a bit far, but it is very straightforward. Quarry? I do want to start the quarry because uh, I think when this levels up, with this mod that we have, it produces not only stone but also like limestone as well. I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. This one. Uh, the, so this one requires uh, minerals and limestone. I think the quarry improves <coughs> and creates more stuff when it levels up. Anyway, to start with, quarry, straightforward, over here, right over, and then oh, a few kilometers away, is a Conmats plant, classic, right? And then we deliver it to Sandwich. I like that name. <laughs> so that's the start, and then we can deliver it also to Talchester and uh, Farnham. Farnham, yeah. And in the future, we can even make a train line here, a passenger train line, because this looks like a pretty even spot. This is like this looks like the most even spot we have, so might as well, right? Like have like a one from Towchester to Sandwich to Farnham to and then Willesden. Might just work. That kind of even path there. Yeah, that's a future plan. Right? Anyway, so before we go there though, I did get uh, an update from our guy here. Look at that, 84 capacity filled to the brim, just 19 left there, and the milk factory is producing again. Yeah, so it's just a cycle, that's fine. So, what I saw was that there's, there was a new local that uh, got released, the General. Sounds massive. Now we do have currently Baldwin 6 wheels, 4 of them on this train. They can only go up to 40 kilometers per hour. And they only have 25 kilonewtons tractive effort. Now the general has 40 kilonewtons and can go up to 45. Lifespan is the same. Running costs are a bit more expensive, almost double. But the tractive effort is almost double as well. So it might just work to have this kind of train. Let's see, let's see. If we replace you with that one, Right, so let's see. If we buy two generals and sell these guys, right? Instead of having four Baldwins, we have two generals instead. And by the way, this new DLC from Train Sim World just released, and uh, I'm I'm getting more and more excited about it. I think I will go ahead and buy Train Sim World finally, so we can have a Train Sim in the series can play and uh, drive some trains around and understand how the different uh, how the different um, train networks work the different signals the different meanings and stuff yeah. and one more there you go okay so that one if we replace that we'll have to pay 359k that's easy peasy we can just it's feb only all right so we can easily borrow something and we can replace that right now it's still on its way all right it's fine 
once it gets here it should upgrade so let's take a look at the stats this one is uh, boss 40 on the flat surface 22 on medium and 12 on high 40 22 12 remember that guys right upgrade it will unload first upgrade 40 22 12 40 22 12 <laughs> complete looks good now it looks even more pro doesn't it 40 22 oh crap okay that's not good <laughs> it's actually weaker all right we'll need three logos then to reach that all right let's do that um replace because as you can see what does it say 40 so on a flat surface it's good on the medium it's lower on high it's not even capable and we do have a high slope back there i think so let us upgrade that 317k we should have enough money i think hopefully barely but we'll have to take loans anyway later but loans are pretty pretty okay as long as you can make sure you are able to earn more than the interest it's uh, the price of business cost of doing business 317 318 perfect i like it go right now let's see what monster what kind of monster you are because that extra five kilometers per hour is going to work wonders on us and who knows we might even need to might even be able to upgrade this add one more wagon in here because we have 96 currently let's see upgrade complete there we go 84 in terms of power you have uh, 45 27 and 15 yeah that that seems like a very good upgrade it's a bit more expensive but that 45 it would mean faster transport between the two areas and uh, I think in the long run it would be very good. So let's keep that. Let us keep that and observe how it works, right? So even though we don't upgrade the number of wagons, we do upgrade overall the speed. So that means uh, it should be able to deliver more stuff faster and it should be able to cope with the milk being stacked here in this station. Hopefully, that's the plan. Alright, this is the heavy part. This is the heavy part. This is right before the trees end. 21. I think it's doing much better than the, the Baldwins before. That's good. I know that 20 kilometers per hour is not fast, but we are in the 1850s after all. So I guess in that way, it is quite fast already. Good. Okay, now it's it's clearing the, the hill. I'm not sure where, which hill it's talking about though. I mean, I don't really see the, the slope here if I look at the contours. But it is accelerating now, so that's good. And the good thing is it can reach 45. And uh, of course, we'll take a photo in a bit. Maybe when it reaches these trees for some more scenery. Like over here, over the bend. That would look fabulous. Yes. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. That. <laughs> why not right why not first person oh that looks wonderful super scenic man now i really want to play train sim world how many of you guys are interested in that kind of series it's a very different gameplay from here it's not about management it's more about actual driving a train but it is all about trains so I'm not sure. Are you guys interested in that kind of thing? Oh, I'll have to take a photo, but this this one is blocking the view. Yeah, see? It's cropping. But the general, yeah, that works wonders. Okay, maybe something like that would work. One sec. Let's go side view here. Does that work? Not so much. I think from this side it would be better. Yeah, that one is much better. It shows the loco. It shows the the wagons at the back. I like it. I like it. It shows even a bit of smoke there. 
Now that is a nice angle. Yeah, perfect. Thumbnail worthy. Good, let's keep that. So it can reach 45. Perfect. Means faster deliveries all throughout. Five kilometers is no joke in this time and age. <laughs> right. The food processing plant and uh, yeah, the, most of the plants have upgraded already. Alright, this is perfect because it's running out of milk. And now, reinforcements have arrived. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. Um, we can go and buy additional wagons here as well, I guess. One, two. Put them on the food, food delivery because we are getting some extras here. We're not delivering to capacity. Oh, that is beautiful. And this is why we have a times four slower mod so we can enjoy more these steam trains. We have more time to enjoy them before we have to replace them with diesel ones and electric ones. <clears throat> Good. All right, let's get going to the other side of the world here. Now we'll have to take some loans, uh, as much as I hate it, but it's an unavoidable thing. Now we want to connect this quarry with this Conmats plant. We do that by creating this small country road, 40 kilometers per hour. That's enough because our wagons only can go up to 40 anyway. And we can just, actually we can avoid creating any roads. It will have to go through the main road like here though. And that will be like lost time because we'll have to go around instead of going like a straight line from here. On the other side of the equation, I don't want to go through here because that seems a bit slopey and our horses might have a hard time. So what I'll do is I'll go around that. So I'll go from here. So that's the slope. I'll try to avoid it. And just connect like that, probably. 115k, no thank you. No, let's go like here. 15k, 12k. And then connect like that. 26k, yeah, that's more acceptable. So we go through a side road like this. We go through the city a bit and then we connect here straight to the establishment. No, that's a bit ugly, that turn. Can't you like curve beautifully? There you go. 155. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Wait a minute. That one is 32k. Um, should I accept that? Or should I cheap out? I think I should cheap out. Yeah, because that's just 13k. So go with that first. And that one. Granted, that will mean it's going to be a bit slopey. But it's fine. There, that's cheap. Cheapo at work. <laughs> All right, let's get a truck station in here. Uh, a small one would do fine. In range, in catchment, that's not, that is. And that's just 15k, 13k, okay. We have a winner, 12k, yes. <laughs> Every k counts at this point. There you go. I hope I did the right thing there, yes, okay. And that would connect to this place here. Let's put the station as well. Can I do that before the forest? Yes, I can. Can I do it here? Oh, I saw 9k. <laughs> Super cheap discount 11k. Okay, I'm gonna do 11k 11 11 10. All right, 10. How about 10? 9. Okay, 9. Look at that. Even in the forest, actually, it's going to be pretty cheap. I thought it would cost something because you would have to chop down the trees, but apparently not. So let's go with 9k. Pretty happy with that. There's an 8k. Yeah, that one works. 8k 8.97. <laughs> Good. All right, let's put a depot in between. Let's put a depot here in this city and it will serve as a bus depot as well so it will be like a centralized thing but not there not on the slope here on the flat surface probably yes hmm, it's a bit expensive actually why is that can you not be on a flat surface bro that one works that one's 20k that one is 26, and this one is 20. Hmm. If I press shift, nothing happens. If I do that, it's going to be at a decline. 
Okay, we, we can do this. Let's <clears throat> place it farther back like this. So it's just 11k. And then let's just connect by an off-road, a small street right there. So it's going, this one is going to be a bit uphill. That's going to be fine. Good. We are good. We connect these two. Create a line from the quarry to the conmats plant. And from the conmats plant, we deliver where? That's a good question. We deliver to the industrial area, which is over here. So we say, you just pass through, drop off stuff in here, I guess. We create a bus stop. So that's only for drop off, so that should be fine. We can reach this place, but not that one. Hmm. Can I create a medium street like that? 35k, man. I don't want to pay that because, I mean, I'm. The city will build that on its own, and 30k is nothing to laugh about in this in this time. So let's just stick to this part for now. Let's not answer to that part yet. And uh, yeah, let's put a bus stop right here, so we can unload as well. Everything on the way, right? So take stones up to this place that the conmats plant get the conmats go back drop them off here and then do and collect some more stones and rinse and repeat yes so that line would then add a stop here to drop off the conmats so this would be the truck conmats and let's make that red because why not did i did i save it i didn't save it Thank you. <laughs> Truck con mats enter. There you go. And now we can add some wagons in. Now, how many do we need? In the first place, let's get only, I don't know. So this can carry stone and con mats, right? Perfect. Let's only have four. Okay, just to start with, just to start with. And then once it uh, ramps up, we will ramp up the entire thing as well. Now I, hmm. <laughs> I did realize something because if I want to extend to that place to Towchester, Towchester, Tau oh man, <laughs> I would have to get a. <laughs> I can deliver there by train maybe, but that's going to be one way. One way delivery of corn mats, not a very good deal. If you can bring something back, that would be perfect, but I don't think that's the case. So, maybe we leave it as it is. Um, we can deliver by wagons for now, but that means instead of having a bus stop here, I would need to have like a, a, a station in here. Or, 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 I can, I can just connect from here, I guess. Yeah, so from here, delivering to that city, that would increase the demand already quite a bit. Yes, so if I add like a bus stop somewhere here, that will cover almost all of the industrial buildings. And I'm going to be a pretty happy bunny. Yes, so let us do that. Let's just do like one there and add a line going from this place, the quarry, to that bus. Now I know it's going to be a very long route. The <laughs> Although it's not really. I mean it's almost the same as that route. We can make a shortcut like that, but I mean, do we really need to? It's an additional few kilometers maybe. Let's see how much it costs. How much would it cost for me to connect you to that one? 116k. Nope. You, you, uh, you stay still for now. <laughs> All right. And then once this triggers, once production here triggers, we can go and add some wagons in there to increase the demand. But I want this to get triggered first. So let's speed up the game because we do have the times four slower mod. So that means the triggering of new production is times four slower as well. So they would have to uh, wait for uh, the start of a new month for that to be recalculated. Something like that. Alright. 
Now the good thing is we are quickly reaching 500k so we can decide to either invest more or we can decide to pay off the loans. Maybe we can start creating a train station here, a passenger train station from here to here. That would be super quick. Although, if I want to go through, pass through, hmm. If I want to make a through and through line from, like a straight line from Towchester to Sandwich to Farnham, how would I do it? I would need to be not in the center of the city, but somewhere on the side. Go through here, probably stop, uh, maybe go through from here on the left side, go through this place, yes, and then go on through, hug the road, and then go around like this. But in the beginning, I would want to connect here at the very least. Uh, in terms of slopes, there is no slope here, so that should be fine. It should be a pretty flat surface. So we should be able to connect like here, probably. Yeah, okay, good. That is now triggered, perfect. So let us add more and more wagons on this main line first, before we connect to the other city. So that would mean how many? 30. How much is the production? 404. I don't know how many. Uh, let's add... Uh, what kind of wagons did I get? The dark ones? The dark ones, okay. Good. So you have 35 and counting. Let's add... I don't know. Let's see. How many do we have? We currently have... 4. Let's add 6 more. Yes? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're not going to pay off that loan. We are going to invest in more and more wagons in here. And that passenger line, let's put a pin on that, all right? Let's put a pin on that. Maybe next episode. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. Let's make this Conmats line work and earn more monies. So we can invest more. There you go, 46 and counting. That's going to be producing 232. I think we'll need more than this. We'll need to fill this entire thing. Yeah. And look at that. That became cemented. The city decided to make that into a part of its own. <laughs> that just bit. Just that bit, which is looking pretty weird. That's okay. They're spacing themselves out. Good. Alright, I think we do need a lot more though. I do think we need a lot more. Yeah, because right now there is nothing else. Let's add 10 more. Let's be a bit more aggressive here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do this. Go all out. Oh, that's more like it. At the same time, we can also develop the bus lines here. Can deliver, we can uh, take passengers from here to there, from residential to industrial and back. But I would have to close something off. Like maybe this road, they connect there. So I can have like a circle. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. Hmm. Let's see, where are all the people walking? Here in the center for sure. Let's leave it for now because the bus lines are not really earning much. If you look at the bus here in Pickering, it's barely making any money in the first city that we had. Truck con mats, yeah, I know, losing money. Look at this, look at our train, earning 147k. That's perfect. Let's have a quick look at it. How are, how are you guys doing? Right, we are losing milk here. Why? Did you guys... Okay, it stopped producing again. It stopped producing again because... Uh, we were not able to take in as much as we wanted. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. That will make up for itself later on. We do have a lot of uh, grain as well. I think we'll need to transport that somehow. Okay, this production has started again. Perfect. Okay, good, good. Now, are you full? Are you able to get full? If not, I'll have to add more wagons. It's not. Look at that, only 66. 
70 out of 84. Yeah, that's not good enough. That is wasting a bit of good money right there. So we will add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on this line for the milk. This one. Because once this starts producing, this will really stack up and it will fill that entire station and that's why the production here stops because there is no more place to put milk in. All right, but other than that, I think the, the line is pretty optimized. All right, and now what? The, how does it look? All right, now we're getting our first set of con mats. That's perfect. Do we have... Look at that. It's scheduled for upgrade already. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Uh, now the, the potential here is 156. All right, potential for con mats is 156. If you look at our throughput, I'm not sure if that's a uh, an accurate way of looking at it. Con mats rate is 277. Um, is that how do you count that? I mean, does it count stone only, or does it only also count con mats? Because this is 280, and we currently have 283 rate. So does that mean I have like enough? I can take everything, I guess, huh? That's probably like a one is to one comparison. I guess. Let's see. Let's see how that works. Alright, anyway. So now that the line is connected, and we should be getting our first deliveries of con mats over here. Let's have a look at the city. Do you have any con mats? You do. Perfect. Alright. So the, the delivery has started, and if you look here, it is actually reaching that point. If I make a bus stop over here though, that reaches even more. Oh, that's perfect. Look at this. The city created its own roads. And actually, that means if we connect here instead, we will connect to uh, this one. We will connect to those, part, those industrial buildings over here as well on the upper side. So right now, we're only connecting here. And uh, we're only connecting to the lower part. If we just move one block farther, we connect to more of them. So we add a bus stop there. And we move the stop from, let's do that, Just move from the avenue, add another stop there, and remove the stop to the avenue like that. So this one would be in catchment of everything, perfect. And this one we can delete. There you go. I hope that didn't destroy the conmats production. Uh, I'm not sure. I hope it doesn't. All right, good. You have more con mats. Everybody happy? Delivering stone and delivering con mats, and you do have a lot of stone still left there. Perfect. Okay, good. So that should. All right. Let's see. Sandwich. One sixty-eight con mats that can be filled. We have a potential of one twenty-eight. Let's fast forward a bit. Wait for March. This should shoot up because we did increase the catchment of the the city by moving that bus stop one block one block uh, farther so 128 and boom 176 perfect 176 in sandwich we have 172 all right perfect that's it's even more interesting <laughs> i wonder where the others go okay anyway um so that also means we can go and connect Towchester now um, yeah, in the meantime, let's just connect them by uh, wagons. I know it's not the most optimized, but it's a start, right? Now, this line should be earning money now. 23k. Perfect. And just from that one, I think we're already paying off more than we incur in terms of the, the loans. I think. Anyway, uh, okay, let's see. This is the truck con mats. This is the uh, truck. Uh-huh. Uh, Tau, Hester, Con Mats. Okay, not Cons Mats, Con Mats. I am a bit confused with my naming convention, but we'll, we'll adjust that as necessary later on. Alright, so let's add in the meantime... Um, hmm, how many do I need? Four. Four is the magic number when it comes to this. Not really, but I just wanted it. Okay, good. The first batch to trigger the production. Uh -huh. 
Look at that, so much stone. So this one can create 488. Wow. But I mean, we don't really need more right now because the city is only needing 192 and we're producing 176. So yeah, I don't think we need any much, much more. Hmm. Should we though? No, oh, they're starting to actually stack on each other. So I don't think it's good. Yeah, that's not a good plan. Let's not add any more wagons there in the meantime. Great, how much are you earning? 33k and counting, perfect. All right, so then, did this upgrade now? Potential should be around 200 plus now. Yeah, 244, because that means it connected as well the industrial areas from here, which is perfect, Towchester, right? So now, some folks, some wagons should be delivering con mats up to this place. Not only dropping off stuff in this bus stop, but some of them should also drop stuff here, which is perfect. Because they are... This line has a throughput of uh, 296, this con mats line. But it's only... 29. Uh... Delivering corn mass 244, 297, so it should be able to handle all the corn mats needs. Some of them will drop off corn mats on the bus stop, some of them will deliver the corn mats all the way to this station, and that will be taken by this other line here, where we have our first set of wagons coming through. Right? Good. So now, we wait. <laughs> Okay, we are filling up quite fast here. Scheduled for production. Uh, this is this is a bit weird. It's producing to the brim 404, but the potential is only 348. I'm not sure why the game does that sometimes. I mean, it doesn't need more, but it just like builds and builds and builds until it can't build anymore. Maybe that's the logic in itself. Yeah, look at the potential here now, 400. 400 how does that work in sandwich we have 196 and in Towchester we have 136 so that's amount to around 390 plus so just around 400 ah perfect then then that means we need more wagons here we have our first set of con mats delivering haven't seen any yet have not seen any yet all right okay that there's one look at that there's one here so he dropped off three on the bus stop and he drops off one here. This one, no, nothing. Nothing. Let's have a look at this guy. There we go. One more. So it's like a three is to one ratio right now. This one drops off four, leaves one for that place. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, some, some, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, that one we can pay the loans of one chunk of it it's perfect good that looks pretty good that is shaping up pretty nicely i like it all right we have a first set of con mats our first piece of con mats con mat <laughs> just one <clears throat> so that means uh we have four currently here four wagons delivering to Towchester. um Alright, there you go. We're going to be filling the first wagon pretty soon. Maybe here? The, are you the one who will fill up the first wagon? Yes, you are. So this guy will be taking... Oh, not you. The light the light colored one. This one will be taking a full load of con mats for the first time ever. Good. Eight. So now we can fill two wagons. So that's the first one, going to Towchester, perfect, and then this is the second one. We have a third one incoming close though, so I'm not sure if they'll make it. No, I don't think this guy will carry anything yet, but that's fine, that's fine. They'll, uh, 
work themselves around. Good. I think that is good. Alright, that's a good start. And if you need more, then we'll get more. Wow, this is really stacking up here. This is scheduled for production, for upgrade. Stones, yes. Uh, lots of stones, actually. 404 capacity. I think we need more wagons, don't we? I think we need more wagons. Because we're running out of stones here. And we are not... Yeah, look at this. This is a dead spot. For a few seconds, there are no wagons picking up stones, so we can afford more here, definitely. So let's get maybe four more. What color are you? The dark ones? Yeah. Four more on the Conmats line. Good. Alright, I think that's good. These guys should space themselves out more. They like... Because I bought them at the same time. They're like traveling at the same time at the same direction as well. I hope they went like two, one way, two with the other, so it's more balanced. Okay, let's look at the throughput of our line. Throughput of the line is uh, 358, but actually it should be able to handle five, 592 or 400. So I think we need more. Let's, let's base it from here, right? So let's add four more wagons. One, two, three, four. Assign you to that one. So this one from 358 should increase to 417. That's perfect. 418 in the production of the con mats is 444 maximum. Production of stone is 552 maximum around that area. So that should be the right amount, I think, if we can rely on that number. So that's more like a one to one ratio. A throughput thing that's uh, part of the convenience patch. Good. Right, we are getting more con mats in here. That is perfect. So we have four wagons currently and going to Towchester that they have capacity of uh, 16. So now we have a full wagon for all of them. Yeah, so all four of them are full. That means we can probably afford more. Now, if you look here, how does this work? If you want to fill this to capacity, this would be around 136. So that means this line would need around 136 throughput, the Towchester. So if you look, currently it only has a 45 rate. So if you want 136, we'll need to add more wagons in there. I hope this is a systematic way of doing things. Uh -huh. Let's add four more then. That makes it 90. Let's add four more. That makes it 135. That's perfect. So 135 throughput with 136 demand. I think that's exactly what we need. Good. And now we have 25 con mats waiting. Granted, this first batch will probably not be working very well they're right too close to each other but hopefully it will balance itself out they'll space themselves out properly and it's pretty hypnotizing just looking at this actually not that one more on the, the developed part over here wow so many if you look like here it's super hypnotizing you can just stay here and listen to the dings now that's a busy system yeah. Now that's an efficient business right there. Not letting technology or the lack thereof get in the way. Horsepowers. <laughs> now this is the real horsepower. Yeah. This part here is super hypnotizing. Just seeing things work on their own. This is the beauty of transport fever. Man, really love it. Good. This one has upgraded, perfect. We have a couple of uh, food here. Okay, let's let's test that. Let's test that. So this 
Pickering has a demand of 280. Do, I, do we have everything in catchment? That's the question. This one is the catchment. We have almost. So the throughput of this line should be around 280. 260 around that point. This, uh, what they call this, truck food line. Truck food line has a rate of 393, which is, I think, actually uh, much more than what we need here. But still, we're not able to consume all the food. I'm a bit baffled by that. Maybe it's times two because they're going both ways. I don't know. Or maybe they, maybe it does run out. Ah, maybe it does run out. By the time the train... No, the train's almost arriving. So I'm not sure about that. If you just look at the throughput itself, truck food has a rate of 394. Annual throughput per station. Ah, because that's annual. And this is... I don't know what this is. Demand for... I don't know. Is that annual? I have no clue. But what I know is that we don't have enough wagons. We can afford more here. So what I'll do is I'll add four more. One, two, three, four. Add you to this line. And then here, we need more. Production is still ongoing, but we don't have much backlog anymore. That's exactly what I wanted. Although I think that's also because we don't have enough grain. Crap. Okay, that means we need to deliver more grain. That means we need more wagons on this side. So let us add... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have mo enough money. Truck grain. Good. That should take care of this beast here. Hope that works. Right? That seems to be working fine. Uh, I know we're, we're in the negative, but don't worry about that. That will balance itself out soon enough. Soon enough. All right. Just saw a delivery here. There we go. 76 out of 128. That's perfect. That is perfect. Good. So even if we only have wagons, we're not letting that get in the way. Things arrive slower. But if you just fill the entire line with wagons, it kind of makes up for it. Right? Kind of makes up for it. Now granted, there is a waiting line here. There is a maximum capacity. But it all works out in the end. And I got a tip from you guys as well that I can actually double this. Like what I can do is... Uh, Instead of only stopping here once, I can add like another line, another station, which is the same station here. So there will be like a fourth or fifth stop here. And that would mean um, they would like double the capacity of the con mats in here. So they don't have to all wait in the same station like that. They would be split across two pickup points. I can actually do that <coughs> if we need to. But right now, I don't think there's much waiting time yet. I think it's just enough. If that ever happens, then we'll, we'll go and try that out. Honestly though, I tried that out before, but it didn't work so well for me. It like, uh, yeah, it didn't work quite well. It was a bit uh, weird. Like the game was a bit confused with the, what I did. Like it wasn't built to have that kind of system. But you guys let me know if you ever tried that before. And if it's effective or you also encounter that weird behavior when you try to force it to go double have double stops in there is this upgraded? that's weird why aren't you upgrading? there you go scheduled to upgrade in 7 months ok good but things are going well if you look at the financial side of things we are earning more now we are still losing money but that's because we spent a lot on investing 1858, we bought the the generals, and uh, 1859, we added these two lines, these this entire conmats line. So even if we added that line, we still earned money. So 1860 is where things should shine, like that. Yeah. So we're starting, we're starting to earn, and we're still only in June. So we have six months to go to earn even more. So I think we are well on our way to pay off our loans. I think it should be safe to say that we survived the initial difficulty of the 1850s. So from there, I think we should be able to have a bit more freedom 
in order to explore more areas, either pay off loans or invest in more stuff. Right? That is looking very good indeed. Why then? Why did my income go down? Oh, that's because just because of the every month, every start of the month, we incur the the monthly costs, the the upkeep, maintenance costs, and not what not. But yeah, we are earning, and this is a full train, I assume. Quite, almost full. All right, all right, it's not bad. If needed, though, I'll, I can still ramp this up, I think. Yeah, because they're still not filled to the brim. Look at that. There's still a bit of waiting time there. Can afford to have like more wagons. Probably four more. If you look at the line, truck milk has a throughput of 789. This one has a potential of 1,276. So, I mean, maybe not that. Although here is where we have a waiting line. Uh, that might be. That might mean we're reaching the limit already. Yeah, I think that means we're full already here. We might not benefit much if we just add more wagons on this line. 198k, 200k. I think we we're earning more previously, right? Maybe we do have enough. We have uh, too much wagons, too many wagons. What I can do to optimize this, let me try something, hopefully this doesn't hurt us, is to create another station here, which is still connected to the train, but one thing it does is it saves up a bit of time, because the, the wagons don't have to climb that uphill, and they don't have to compete with the, the wagons coming from this other side delivering trains. So there would be no traffic on this intersection anymore. As you can see it happening here. Yeah, so they're, they need to stop because they're sharing the same intersection. So if we add another station here, that's like a couple of, yeah, a bit more expensive, but that shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be too hard. And that's still in catchment of the train station, so that's perfect. Actually, we can go a bit farther, I think. That one, still in catchment of the train station that one no more so we can go here yeah we can go here and that's still in catchment of everything let's go with that 37k i saw 37k there 36.9 oh bite the bullet that's still in catchment of the train station and the bus perfect so you guys i hope this doesn't reset anything but if it does we just have to bear the cost until Things refresh. Uh -huh. So we have a stop here in the middle like that. And then we remove the stop on that side. I hope that works. That might destroy my line. Wait a minute. Before I remove anything, let's uh, save it. Okay. Good. And remove the third one. Oh, what save. Oh, how nice of you. Perfect timing. There you go. Actually, it's, it's super quick. It's instant. Nothing got lost. <laughs> That's awesome. Or maybe not. They actually lost all their milk. Oh, crap. That's, that's bad. One round of milk is gone. But we do have all the milk here. So you guys still pick up milk. All right, perfect. So now there should be no sharing here anymore. They have their individual stops, individual lines. Okay, that's perfect. And now you don't have... Uh, you save a bit of time there on that slope. And uh, that's a win-win overall. So yeah, this is still uphill. But at least they don't have to share that intersection anymore. I think that's a good approach. It's a very optimized approach. So the guys here drop off grain. That gets transferred here by some magical <laughs> some magical feature. And then they drop off milk and that gets transferred to this station or some magical feature as well. Some unseen folks working in the background. Now we do <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a loss. 36 out of 84. But that should even out by the next run, I think. I hope. Because right now everyone has milk again. 
Okay, good. So that should be a very powerful thing here. 894 throughput. Not sure if that improved. 894, 880, I think that is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. And in terms of grain, um, now the grain potential over here is 924. Huh. And we are currently only delivering. The grain is 566. But the production can be up to 820. Yeah, this is very underpowered. Look at that. Throughput for grain is 569. Potential is 680. We can afford a few more. Maybe four more. One, two, three, four. Add more there in the wagons. That ramps up to 708. Capacity is 680. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that, that works, I guess. Potential 680. Okay, good. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, no traffic at all. So even the, the wagons that are crossing each other, they don't get into traffic because they are on the opposite sides of the road. No traffic whatsoever. Perfect? Perfect. I like. I like this plan. Alright. So with that, if you look at the money, we're losing money. Oh no no, we actually earned. Yeah, the 1860s, 237k. Even with all those investments. So that is actually a pretty good deal. And if you go back here, we do have a couple of... We do have a lot of build-up in the corn mats and stone department. So I think we can ramp this up. We have potential of 716. We have potential of 508. Uh, or 400, 500. So it should be 900 throughput. Is that? Wait a minute. I think I'm doing this wrong. We only have 416 though. But we have a potential of 508. Um, I think I might need... I don't really know. Uh, let's have a look. I'm not sure how to look at these numbers, but I'm seeing a dead spot here. See? No wagons at all. So that means I could probably add around 10 more wagons. Like this. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Add you to the Conrad's line. Make that a road train. There you go. Everybody happy. Perfect. Do you have everything filled here? Almost. And in here. Almost. So maybe that last upgrade will push us to the brim. To, f to full capacity. Now we can also deliver to Osset and uh, Shorewood. <laughs> they'll have to travel a very far route though. But they'll get there eventually. We can also deliver to Farnham. Hmm. They could actually do that. Like you can connect them stations each. But you can also deliver via train. I think I'll focus on re these three cities for now. Yeah, let's maybe work on some passenger trains next episode. I think it's time. Well, we might need to take some loans, but I think we're in a very good place. Yeah. yeah have a look. Okay, no waiting wagons. That's perfect. No waiting wagons. We are running out of milk here. Although we do have a lot of uh, grains. So in terms of grains, we don't really have a problem. Uh, production itself is not increasing so much. Why? Bro, go and produce. Oh, there you go. Okay, good. It might be that we have too many wagons in here. Look, we have 136 milk waiting, 138, and our guy can only take like 84. That means we can even upgrade our train even more. Yeah, we might have too many wagons in here now, because we because of this thing that we did, we reduced the traffic, we reduced the distance, so now they're working super efficiently, and maybe we don't need as much. Yeah. Might, that might be the case. So the throughput is uh, 874 rate. Potential is 13. Oh, potential is 1356 though. Nah, let's just keep it. 
that's probably just a lull in the thingy. Look at this. Look at how much we've improved the line. The train is only delivering there. And there's already 117 in here. OMG. Okay, that might mean we need more wagons. Make it a longer train. Because I think we need to imp increase it by... Add maybe three more wagons. Maybe one more loco and three more wagons. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do that and then I finish the episode, right? So let's add one more, the general, and we'll have to move it manually again. I heard you. You're enjoying this, aren't you? And the train is tooting non-stop, just enjoying the load. Um, hello? Okay. And then three wagons, maybe. One, two, three. How much do I need? 1.54M, GG. <laughs> oh man, okay, fine. Uh, one, two, three. Good. Because that not only adds more wagons here that also replaces all the other parts so they're they're brand new and they're uh, not incurring as much penalties and their uh, lifetime refreshes as well so this one we now have 181 after this train upgrades slow down a bit this train should now be longer than the platform there yeah. And there should should be able to take 105. Okay, that's good enough, I guess, for now. And then we think of upgrading it even more later. So right now 105, and there's already already 88 there. But we'll see. So the throughput of the train is now 1,091. Truck milk is 11, so that's pretty close. 1,091 versus 11. I think that's the magic number right there. I like that. And look, all our lines are earning money. With the biggest earners being the milk trucks, followed by the conmats trucks. Imagine that. Just that's just a new line, and it's earning non-stop because it's working both ways. And then we have the train following, and then what? The grain trucks. But yeah, this is a pretty good deal. All right, we're slowing down in terms of power. 45, 29, 15. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. There you go. You're actually a bit faster. I remember it went down to 20 kilometers per hour, hour a while ago when we were here in this part. So now it's able to accelerate faster. It's a lot longer. I'm happy. Right? And we are earning money. We do have a lot of loans though. I have to pay that off, but that's fine. That's fine. I can manage. The important thing is we are getting income. And we have more income than we have interest, so it's a net positive result. Going faster? Thank you. Right. Anyway, I will leave it there for now, guys. I think that was a very good progress, and that's like crossing us over to the... Because, to be honest, previously, in the, in the past few episodes, I was a bit afraid that the season would be ending quite quickly. <laughs> that it, we will be going game over quite quickly. So now at least we know we have a chance. We have a fighting chance, right? So anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is the start of something really awesome, I think. Thanks for watching and keep the comments coming. Thank you very much for still liking this series. And I'm glad to see that a lot of people are still enjoying it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. If you did like the video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. And uh, yeah, do let me know, comment out, and uh, suggestions are very much welcome. Anyway, thank you for coming, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode, alright? Bye-bye. Comes and Geek, sign off. See you in the next one.